Order 15 adds a new feature, reservation method, which is used to reserve products that are used in a particular operation type. So this will ensure that the products are saved for the defined operations of the company at required times. So from inventory module, you can find an inventory overview where all the operation types are shown. So when you open the configuration page of an operation type, there you can find a new field, reservation method. So this reservation method is used to decide how products in transfers of this operation type should be reserved. And you can find this field only when the type of operation is delivery, internal transfer, or manufacturing. So here for manufacturing, you can see reservation method. And for internal transfers, then for point of sale orders, then for resupply subcontractor. So let us open our delivery orders. So here, by default, the reservation method is set as at confirmation. That is, products will be reserved when an order is confirmed. So let us check how this is done. For that, let's go to a sales module and create a sale order. So suppose a customer deco edit ordered a product armchair you can see the details are shown here the description of the product then here we can update the quantity order then we can change the unit of measure unit price we can add discounts now, after that, we can save sale order and we can also find option to confirm the sale order directly from here. So here you can see we have a forecasted report for a sale order. So when you click on this graph, you can see two units are reserved for this product. So we can click on this view cast forecast to view the forecasted report. Here you can see for the customer deco edit, two quantities, two units are reserved. And you can view the expected delivery date here. And it's also possible to unreserve the stock by clicking on this. So you can see that on sale order confirmation, order automatically reserve products. Now let's again go back to our delivery order configuration page. Let's change the reservation method to manually, not on confirmation. Now let's again create sale order. Let's add the same product, armchair. Now I'm ordering one quantity. That is customer orders, one quantity. Let us click on this confirm to confirm the sale order. So now when you click on this, you can see reserved as zero units. And when you click on this view forecast, you can view the details. So here you can see the German customer have ordered one quantity of armchair and you can see the expected delivery date here. And if you want to reserve one quantity of armchair for this customer, you have to click on this reserve. That is, we have to manually reserve product for this 
customer. So you can see that product is reserved. So this is how we manually reserve product. Now let us change the reservation method to before schedule date. So we can reserve products before a schedule date. So here we can set maximum number of days before schedule date that products should be reserved. So let me add it as three days. So now let me save this. And again, create an order. So before that, let me open the product form. Here we have an option to set the customer lead time. That is when product need to be delivered to a customer. So I'm setting it as three days. And under other information, here you can find the delivery date of the product. You can find the date and time. And you can see the expected date here. And if you want to manually change it from here, you can add a different date. So I'm setting this 23 October. So this will be the delivery date of the product. Now let us confirm this order. So you can see no quantities are reserved. Here you can see for the customer quantities are not reserved. So what order does is that automatically reservation will be done three days before the expected delivery of the product. So you can see Expected delivery date is 23 October. So reservation will be done three days before this date. And it's also possible to manually reserve by just clicking on this reserve button. So let us come back to the order. Just cancel this and set to quotation. Now let us change the expected delivery date. So let us set it as few days earlier. Now again, let's confirm the sale order. So now you can see one quantity of this product is reserved for the customer. So let us check the forecast report. Here we can see reservation is done for the customer. Because as we have changed expected delivery date, three days after the current date, we have to deliver product to the customer and reservation need to be done three days before the expected delivery date. So this is how reservation is done some days before the scheduled date. So according to your business need, you can set any of the reservation method for your operation type. So in the same way, you can set it for manufacturing, internal transfers, point of sale orders. So that's all about reservation methods in order 15.